What is up YouTube, it is your boy Voodoo, and we are taking on the Annihilator Totem Encounter inside the Normal Mode King's Fall Raid. Now, this is pretty much a straightforward fight once you figured out what is going on. Um, basically, the center is an area that will remove stacks, and the two flanks will add stacks. Now, the way this works is kind of easy. There's two orbs that need to be picked up by one individual each, and then you need to head to the, to the corresponding totem of that side. Now you want to have another person with you so that they can get the stack after your 20 seconds. I think it's 30 seconds altogether, but by the time you get there, it's about 20 seconds, 25 seconds uh, remaining. And when that falls off, you will have 10 stacks and you need to come to the middle and stand in that little ring to drop the stacks. Now you need to always have one person in the totem, always. You actually want to have two in the totem, realistically speaking, because the trade-off would be, you know, timing it would be just silly, like... There's no boss to do massive amounts of damage to right now. I'm sure that could change in Heroic. But as of right now, there's no big thing that needs to get big time damage that you wouldn't necessarily have. So, what I'm going to suggest is that in this regard, you always have two on the flanks, and then which means you would always have two in the middle. When you switch off, you got to guard the people running, obviously. And, you know, if you can get even a, a, a minor stagger to where one side is coming into the middle while one side is doing the, you know, like, well, one side is not. They're just, like, kind of static already. Then you'll, you'll have it a lot better so there's never too much overflow in the middle. Now, what can happen in this encounter if you do not, like, if you try and do one, I've seen kids try to, put three people on each side all the way and then send the one person in to the middle like that really doesn't work by the time they get there they're overflowing with ads or the people down on the totems are getting hit by ads meanwhile you they have a boomer spawning you know so it really it, it pays to always have somebody in the middle controlling the ads because there's they're not very high health mobs that are up there but they are in fact uh you know a pain in the ass once you've got like 20 of them around uh basically all you got to worry about really though is the witch spawns and the boomer spawns now a witch will spawn up top in the middle and a boomer will spawn up top on each flank yeah, they're pretty much one shot snipes for the boomers and two shot snipes for the witches so i mean it's no big deal um other than that really guys this one's really simple there's not much to it it's a you know do this a couple times until the war priest deems you worthy type situation and once you've finished it off which i believe it's like either six or eight rotations something like that you'll um be allowed to go into the next room which is more or less the war priest and you know that's actually a pretty straightforward encounter as well i'm sure that that one i feel like is going to be a dps check but we'll go more into that on our next video which will in fact be the war priest but guys, it's been awesome having you watch the videos. We've had over a thousand on two videos so far, uh, or at least close to a thousand, close enough to where I'm happy to call it a thousand. And I appreciate that heavily. Uh, the new subscribers, awesome. We're gonna have some more stuff coming out as often as I possibly can. Um, trying to pick up new people so I can have more content for you guys. But as of right now, it's only me, and I'm trying to bust my ass for you. So if you could like comment and subscribe.